Game of Magic 13 here, and welcome back to Lego Indiana Jones 2 The Adventure Continues, where last time around we took on Lake Crypt, and in today's episode we're going to be taking on Digger's Delight. Now, in order to unlock Digger's Delight, you're going to need the Ugga Digger, because he is the only character in the game that has a shovel, and you need a shovel in order to unlock this bonus level right here. I believe it takes three dig, dig downs with... Um, three or four dig downs with the Aga Digger in order to successfully dig this up. And then you will just fall straight into the level. Now, there is a hidden purple stud somewhere along this cliff towards the middle, I would say. So now what we're going to want to do is pick up this shovel located right here, and then dig up the pieces that are located right here. Since it did take a little bit, bit of a break in between recording sessions, I did forget to turn these on, and more specifically fast dig on, to make processes like this. A heck of a lot easier. Oh, by the way, the true adventure for this level is 25,000 studs, just to let you guys know. Now, we're going to drop into this area right here, but I, we are going to have to be careful of the Russians, especially this one on the ledge right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Oh, well, my plan was to covertly use my whip to take him out, which is what I just did there. But I didn't do it covertly, so... But, you know, whatever. So now we're going to use our shovel once again to dig this thing up and ba bash it in to unlock a key, which we can use for this mechanism right here. If we hold it down and turn it, that gets activated. So now what we're going to do is going to head to the right and use our whip by holding down the action button and then aiming for this orange handle right here, and then letting go. What this will do is it'll activate a platform moving across this fire pit. Now if I leap for it, first off we're going to be, ha we're going to have to play as Mutt in order to do this, because Mutt is the only one who actually has the wrench. Now if I have one recommendation to you, it's that you jump onto this little handrail right here, and then once it's over right here, that's when you make the double jump from the handrail. But once, you, other than that, you just ride it across and use Mutt to fix the mechanism, because if you do not know, Mutt has a wrench which automatically means he is an expert at fixing things, which doesn't fit his character role in the slightest, but I guess they're trying to make him seem like this motorcycle, motorcyclist, I guess, but... If you turn the red wheel on this thing, it'll activate a platform over here, allowing you to access to this section over here. Now from here, what we have to do is we're going to have to jump over here. Now this, there is a motorcycle located here. We need this motorcycle, but we cannot get this motorcycle because we do not have any sort of explosive device. So let's fix that. If we come down here and dig up this little treasure piece right here and we bash it in, we're going to find a torch. Now. This torch can be used to light this black bell right here, but the second you do press B to light it, or whatever corresponding button on your assist console of choice, run away and hide behind something for cover, because these things will pack a powerful punch. See? As, as you could see right here, it blasted all the way over here. Now we have the motorcycle, but now we're faced with a new problem. We can't get up the ramp. Fortunately, there's a solution to it. By activating this orange handrail, both of the ramps are suddenly raised up. But, we're not done with this area just yet. Grab the spear for use for later. We're not going to need it for the moment, but we will need it for later. I just barely got enough momentum to do it right there, but the basic gist of what you gotta do is circle around with the motorcycle until you have just enough momentum to get up. It's a very tricky process, but we're still not quite done with this level yet. What we have to do now is we still have to transport between areas in order to pick up enough spears to throw into these holes. That's spear number one collected. Now we have to tr travel back to the previous area and pick up yet another spear which, thankfully, will respawn in due time. I don't, know. I don't know how the game expects you to believe that this works, but for some reason it actually does. Located here on this ledge is a water bottle. What you want to do in order to get the other spear is come over to this area and throw it onto the fire to sneak past the fires. And from here you can use your whip to get the spear to the other side, saving you the trouble of having to do the water strategy again. 
So now you have two spears, and you can throw this one into the wall. Unfortunately, I messed up my aim there, so now I'm going to retrieve the spear and try again before it despawns. You do have a limited amount of time to retrieve it if you make the same mistake I did before it despawns. So now I'm going to climb up these spears, and that's the end of the level. That is, of course, if you can actually manage to make it up here. Alright, and that's going to do for this episode of LEGO Nia Jones 2. The adventure continues. Uh, next time we will be taking on the treasure room. And we already have everybody we need to access this next level. So there's not really much I can instruct you guys to do before, before we do that level. Except that you're going to need a female character to take with you for the ride. So... Um, that is going to do it for this episode of Lego Nation Jones to the Adventure Continues. I would like to thank you all very much for watching. Um, you should leave a like on this video if you did enjoy, and it, let me know what you thought of it in the comment section down below. If you are new to the channel, then be sure to subscribe to stay updated for all content, both all previous, current, and upcoming. And until next time, this has been Game, Game of Magic 13, signing off, saying hope you have a phantasmagorical day, and I will catch you all next time for some more Lego Nation Jones to the Adventure Continues. Good. Oh, hang on, this ruins the effect. One sec. I'll switch to indie. Goodbye.